from Vince Scully Avenue, welcome to Dodger Stadium, Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, first pitch coming up. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Shohei Otani. What do you have on him, Chris? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the Leading same off, tunnel, the and that can make life very the difficult on his opponents. Labor. Okay, all set to go. Four. Here's Glaber Torres. And the pitch. Ball and that's inside. off the inside edge. And that's how he gets started here in Los Angeles. And here it comes. Labor gets a piece one and two. On the ground to third. Throw on to oh. Freeman. One up, one down. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. Big challenge for them today as they take on a pitcher who brings electric stuff and really racks up the strikeouts. Yeah, and it's all about making good contact against a pitcher like this. You're not going to get very many pitches to hit in an at-bat, maybe even in a game. So you've got to be ready, zoned in to the spot where you think you've got the best chance and jump all over it. Might be the first pitch in the at-bat, so you better walk nope. up there ready from the jump. If they can make nope, early, no. consistent contact, I think they'll have a much better shot against it. One down, base is empty. Fought off foul. And a pitch. On a line, base hit. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way the on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Aaron Judge now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Judge rips that one. Soto gets under it. Soto makes the play. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. First pitch, and he just misses. Swing and a pop up. Lux on his horse. Can't get to this one. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Well, those kind of lucky soft hits will always make you smile. Flared it out there and got it to drop for the base hit. I think he got it off the handle just a little bit, but the bat held up for him enough to get something behind that swing. Anthony Rizzo up to bat next. Lays off for ball. There's a strike. One ball, one strike. Left hand hitter waits. And a count one and two. And the right hander deals. Foul tip. Oh, that got her umpire. And it looks like it got him upstairs. Three. Swing and a miss at the splitter, and it's a strikeout. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Back here at Chavez Ravine. And towing the slab here, Clark Schmidt. What do you got on him, Chris? Opposing hitters are going to see a lot of cutters. This guy can throw it to the front side of the plate, the back side of the plate, so you're really not able to cheat to get the fat part of the bat on the baseball. Bottom of the first. Shohei Otani up to the dish. 
He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. And he grounds one back up the middle, sneaks through, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Here's Mookie Betts. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. Checks over to first, back safely. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And yeah, the All first one, offering no is not close. Turns and fires the bats. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. the center field and they add a pair it's two nothing the one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened that's not an easy one to stomach gets pitch recognition early he saw exactly where that was going to be the challenge not get over anxious and come out of your swing he stayed on it and got all of it Freddie Freeman up to the dish on a line out towards center Judge makes the catch, and there's one gone. Time now for Dave Roberts' lineup for the Los Angeles Dodgers. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These players have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. And that one hammered. That's back there. He circles the bases. It's their second home run of the inning, and they boost their lead. It's 3-0. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one. And everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. One out, base is empty. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Swing and a miss as he was late. All ones the count. In the air, out towards right center. Judge getting an angle on it. Makes the grab two away down. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home that run. Not allowing the it to stay game. in the head, but ah. going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. And first offering is fouled off. Come back into the mound. Third out. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now 3 0. Major League Baseball is on the show. And we're back. Leading New inning getting game. started. Here's the, the catcher, catcher, Austin, Austin Wells. Well. well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Just off the outside edge, and now it's even one and one. James Kingsley working the plate. Kingsley's pretty well respected around the league. Yeah, when you talk to players, I think consistently 
he is one of the guys you hear compliments about. Players appreciate the job he does back there. Yeah, and that's kind of all you can ask for, really, just a fair chance to go out and have success. So, man aboard, digging in, D.J. Oh. LeMayhew. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Otani, an all-star a season ago. He throws a slurve, a four-seamer, a cutter, a splitter, and he works in a sinker. A big swing and a miss. Good late One sink ball. on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time he gets Three. the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Got it by him for the K. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. And here is Anthony Volpe. That one's in there. 4-1. The Yankees trailing by three here at the top of the second. And that one is in for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down in 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Everything came together for him. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Jemai Jones at the plate oh, now as he chases after that one. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. I got a ball, one strike. Two on, one out. Swings through that one out in front that time. Started after the one two pitch, appeal to first, and Gary Simmons punches him out. That's a strikeout. Back to the top of the lineup, Glaber Torres stepping in now for the Yankees. 0 for 1 so far. And ball one. Outside low, and the count is 2-0. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Kicks and fires. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Verdugo takes low second trip to the plate in this one. And that's oh, no. in the dirt. Two on. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Two outs. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. <laughs> the healthy cut. Tough pitch at 98. But a really good pass at the ball. That one missed. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. Got him looking. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 3-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Bottom of the inning, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Will Smith. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Bounce to the left side. Volpe. Slings it across. Oh. And quickly one away in the second. Here's Kike Hernandez. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. Volpe. Zips it to oh. first. Two up, two down. Two outs, bases empty. 
Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's in there standing up with a two-out double. Waste no time there. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. So the lineup flips over. Here's a big power threat. Shohei Otani. Hard hit, right side. Tosses the first. What a play. Inning over. On to the third inning. And stepping in for the Yankees, Aaron Judge. Otani back to work. On the ground. And foul ball. Judge goes six feet seven inches, 31 years old, and he's a former home run derby champ. That's in there. That is strike two. Swing and a miss struck him out. We'll take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Stan takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And now 2-0. Two two the Yanks trailing by two. We're here in the top half of inning number three. The Chris through the early stages. He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. And first offering is fouled off. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't oh, even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Swings and misses. And the count is one, one and two. two and that's outside. Here's a two-two. Caught him looking for the K. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. As we go to the last of the third, now it's Mookie Betts. The why to kick the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Dodgers doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. They're hitting everything thrown at them. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Back. Goal. Another homer. His second home run of the game. It's 4-1. Mookie gets a lot of power into his swing, and this is just the latest example of it. Breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. And that one ripped to left. That's a base hit. Now battle. And at first, right here's Juan Soto. He's already homered here in this no, one. No, no, no. Oh, one. Freeman oh, one, aboard here at first with nobody out. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Way back there. And it's gone. A 
gigantic blast. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they add a couple more. It's 6-1. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. That home run was a no-doubter as we dive into the numbers with StatCast. Crushed. Boog. Just absolutely crushed. 112 miles per hour on the exit below, and like you said, no doubt about that one. Plenty of launch angle to give it that backspin as well, and that carried way over the wall. And up next for Los Angeles, Teoscar Hernandez. And a foul ball. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. The pitch. Comes up empty. That's strike two. No ball, two strikes. Ripped to short. Volpe throws it to first in time. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Here comes Max Muncy. And first offering is fouled off. Still only one out here in the inning. Clobber to right field, way back, gone! A massive home run. Their third home run of the inning. And they tack on to their lead. It's 7-1. That's their fifth homer of the game. Man, they're all getting into the action. It's starting to feel like a home run derby up here. Singy, this was a mammoth home run over 460 feet, according to StatCast. You know, Boo, there are only maybe 20 or so guys in the game that can hit a baseball that far, and it's absolutely crazy it's even that many. Such an impressive swing of the bat right there. Here comes the skipper. New pitcher for the Yankees, Luke Weaver. He's into the game with the bases empty. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Ripped on a line to center. Brings it in, and there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. And now the shortstop, Kike Hernandez. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. This one in the air right field. Stanton on the move. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. That is the inning. Back here at Dodger Stadium, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Austin Wells. Swing and a miss, strike one. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. At the belt and fires. Fouls one off, two and two. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Ground ball right side. Freeman over to first in time. One up, one down. Up to the plate steps D.J. LeMay here. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And that's in there at the knees for a strike.
Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand, looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And there are two down. Now it's the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. One for one with a single so far. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two outs, base is empty. Just off the outside edge. Line drive, base hit. And that extends the inning. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. Two outs. Runner on the go. There's a ball. Safe at second, and that was not close. You don't usually see teams try to claw back into games by being aggressive on the base pass like this, but it's still early in this one. This kind of tells me they're going to try to tackle this one one run at a time instead of waiting one back ball. for a big three-run homer. Fights that one away, still one and two. Runner at second, two down. Top half of inning number four. Benson misses, it's a strikeout. One left for the Yankees. They're down seven to one. Back here in LA, bottom four, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Gavin Lux. And he deals. Liner, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Here's Shohei Otani. And there's a foul ball. The Dodgers up big in this one. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. That one hammered, but pulled foul. And a pitch. Ripped on a line. Stanton puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Man at first. And the batter now, Mookie Betts. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Judge really on his horse for this one. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there's two away. So man aboard. And here's the first baseman. Freddie Freeman. One for two. Swings hey. through that one. 0-1. Oh one. Oh if he's going to steal second. You want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Bounce to the right. Torres over to first. That ends the inning. One left for L.A., and they're on top. Ready now for the fifth inning. And now it's going to be Glaber Torres. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. You know, these Yankees the looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They only have one hit with runners right. in scoring position, so a lot of squandered no opportunities. It's tough because those are moments you just can't get back. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Had him way out front of the slur. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total. And you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Verdugo, the next to hit, takes ball one. Hey. One and one. 
One down, base is empty. Swings through that one. Man, that's one just ball. a nasty Two splitter. Straight. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. Way inside. Two two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. One out. Base is empty. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Pass with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting on this one. next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. It could become dangerous. See if he could get Judge to chase right there. Now one and two. Back to the mound. He's got it. Sends it to first. And it's a one, two, three inning. And welcome back to the ball. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Juan Soto. The pitch. And a foul ball. You know, these Dodgers, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. Everything seems to be clicking. And the six extra base hits in the game kind of tells you everything. He won't get there. That should be extra bases. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. So, a man aboard, and next for L.A., Teoscar Hernandez. To third, LeMayhew to first and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth the third base is number Muncy three. digs in he's Man. already homered in this game Muncy. that one fouled off and the righty deals swing it a foul straight back one out and a runner at second. Last half of inning number five. Three. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. So digging in, Will Smith. Three. Wait on that fastball. He can live up oh, in the zone down. all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Hammered on the line and a left base hit. Runner holds a third, so even with two outs, they didn't risk it. Here's Kike Hernandez. That one is absolutely belted. Down, one hops off the wall. Around third. He'll score. Two runs are in, and it's an eight. What a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. Here's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. First pitch misses. That's ripped. Base hit. Around third. 
He'll score easily. It's 10-1. Stringing them together, that's three. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Ian Hamilton. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same. Well, got to pause on that thought as that'll do it for the inning. Runs on four hits, no errors, and one left on. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That oh, misses, and that's ball one. Well, every pitcher wants run support. And Manager out of the duck. Ryan Brazier will take over here. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. And another ball. Two will count, great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. The pitch. Line drive, caught! It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. One down, base is empty. Swing and a foul straight back. Here's a 1-1. One, one. That's, That's down and in. A slider missed. Two That's balls. a really good one take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Fouls one off out of play. Back to our left. Righty to the plate. Three. He goes down looking. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. Yeah. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive oh, up there at the plate. Wells, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Oh, yeah, there's a ball. He swings and fouls one off. Right-handed reliever. And another ball. Got him swinging. So they go quietly there. 2-3-4 due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Dodgers 10 and the Yankees 1. Mookie Betts and the way he's going in this one we've been waiting for his spot to come around again all right listen everyone stop what you're doing right now this guy's got two home runs already now he's going for number three the pitch and that one fouled off Hamilton in his second season he features a slider, a sinker, and he works in a four-seamer. Next pitch misses, and it's a ball to strike. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees. Tommy Canely, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Righty delivers, and it's fouled away. In the air, out towards left center, and that'll fall for a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. That ball right there landed in what they call the no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. They've got to go a long way as well. Judge makes the play, and there's one down. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time up, he'll find a hole. Smoked in the left, base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the now plate for him. He looks locked in. Really good off. swing right there. He got a pitch that he oh, knew he could handle. Good. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And now, Teoscar Hernandez. 
And first offering is fouled off. Betts, the lead runner out at second. Soto at first, one gone. On the ground, left side, six. Wide throw, and it gets away. Betts coming home. He scores, and it's a double-digit lead as they're up by 10. And he'll pull into second safely. Well, you're already down in the game, and not just but by a couple. And then that right there allows a run to Man. score. And this is where things can really start to fall apart. As a team, they need to pick themselves up, find a way to play better baseball. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And that one is gone. Another homer. His second home run of the game. It's 14-1. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. Sinker can be a pretty tough pitch because of the late life and movement, but somehow he got the barrel to that pitch, stayed through it. Really nice job of staying on the back. Tommy Canely taking over on the mound, and with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. And up next for Los Angeles, Enrique Hernandez. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. And that one lifted in the air center field. Nabs it, and that ends the inning. That funky Muncie with the homer for L.A. We're through six full. You're dialed into the show. Back here at Chavez Ravine, we go to the top of the seventh. And stepping in for the Yankees, D.J. LeMayhew. And the right-hander back to work. Aye. And a good fastball to start him off. That's Strike one. Here comes a pitch. Swing Aye. and a miss. Aye. Ugly swing right there. Oh, and two. Wouldn't oh, chase that time. Here's a one two. Hey. Axe and misses. It's a strikeout. Here's the shortstop at the play. Anthony Volpe. This ball's chopped on the ground. Muncie. Tosses to first. Yeah. And a couple of quick outs. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Jemai Jones. Ball one, no strikes. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Oh, oh, good changeup right? right there. Just pulled the string. Hey. Yeah, big swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. That ball one two. just misses. Caught a break right there. Pretty good two pitch strikes. on the outside corner. Two outs. Pitch misses there. Three and two down. That's a great take. Tried to get him to chase just outside the zone, but he wouldn't offer. Swings and misses. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him. And we're back. Bottom of the seventh. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Gavin Lux. Canely back to work. Ball and the one, first no pitch strike. misses for ball one. Popped up. And it stays fair. No, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. That's one of those things where, as a hitter, you kind of feel like you were due for something like that to drop in for you, no matter how good or bad you've been swinging the bat as of late. And he just fought it off and dropped it in there perfectly. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Squeezes it, and there's one down. 
Man at first. And next for L.A., Mookie Betts. Fly ball down the line. And that's a fair ball. Lux. Round second on his way to third. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. So they're at the corners now. And now the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. That's ripped. And this one could be extra bases. In comes the runner from third. And it's 15 to 1. And he's got a double. Back-to-back -back base hits. As soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over it. Just kept the swing on front. In the air, right side. Stanton on the move. Drops into the glove. Runners tagging from second and third. To third, not in time to get him. He's safe as the run scores on the sack fly. In that situation, you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. Hernandez at the plate with two away. Swings through that one. Swing and a miss. 0-2 oh, now. Quickly in an 0-2 count, count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, oh. then you got a chance. And that's down and away. That this one not close. And the count is even, 2-2. Two and two. Center, and that should be extra bases. In comes the run from third, and the lead continues to grow. And into second easily with a two out double. He was all over that run. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep. Ron Marinaccio comes on now. Well, they need someone to stop the bleeding and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. The Dodgers up big in this one. Here the bottom of the seventh. Muncy hits one in the air. Judge cutting across. Can't catch up to it. It's down in the gap. Runner from second scores as they add on. And they extend their lead. Well done. Drives in the run. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball off. That pitch was off the plate. So tough to get the barrel to anything in there. Hard hit left side. Over to Torres. Ends the inning after they racked up a bunch of runs. So it's four runs, five hits, no errors, and one left. We look ahead to inning number eight. L.A. is on top, 18 to one. Welcome now, back and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Number Joe nine. Kelly. Power Joe. slider guy, boo. He throws Joe. it hard and gets a lot of late movement, so it's tough to pick up. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Here's the Yankees leadoff hitter, Glaber Torres. Hernandez makes the grab on the run. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. Here's Alex Verdugo. One for three. And first offering is fouled off. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. No hey, doubled up on the off speed there. We talk about the power of fastball, but he's working a little differently here. Muncy sends it to first. And Verdugo is set down. Two outs, base is empty. Here is Aaron Judge. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Just missed. 2 0 count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. You better expect him to be turning on something. It's going to either get hit hard to the pull side, or the fans better look out in the stands. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. And now a two-out opportunity for Giancarlo Stanton. Here's Stanton now. And that's in for a strike. Mm -hmm. 
Next offering in there for a strike. And it's all oh, two. Right. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low and fastball for some pitchers. Next pitch is outside. And another ball. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count off at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. Helpful. Squirts away a little bit. Nice job behind the plate there. Judge off of first with two away. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Ready for the bottom of the. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Kike Hernandez. And a pitch. Out towards right center field. Touches down. That's a hit. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. So a man aboard. And up next for Los Angeles. Ripped to third and caught. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact. And that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. On the ground, right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And it throws offline, safe at third. Now back, left fielder, Mookie. So one out with two aboard. Here's Mookie now. Right side. Stant should have this one. He makes the grab. Run attacks from third. Throw is offline, and he scores. And the lead continues to grow. And next for L.A., Freddie Freeman. Over to Torres. That's the third out. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. Through eight full. Dodgers lead it. Ninth. Back here in L.A. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo. And here it comes. Kelly, a righty that throws with power. 35 years old. And he was a third-round pick back in 2009. Left-hand batter waits. Swing and a miss. And a count one and one. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative. But you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and one put ball, it in play. Two strikes. The one, two. Three. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. He's two outs away. Austin Wells now at the plate. And a swing and a miss there. Oh and one. And he hits a ground ball right side. Fires over to first. Two up, two down. So last chance for the Yankees. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. And first offering is fouled off. The Yankees with a lot of ground to make up here at the top of the ninth. That's yeah. in there. 0 oh 2. Oh and one. ball 1 2 LeMayhew. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Rustar Grotero. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. One strike away. Right-hander kicks, deals. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. 
did in the cage day or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digits, something is clicking. That batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now, but more so the players. They can't wait for the next one. Come back out, score, and get another W. So this one got a little out of hand. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.